deep ball, end zone, touchdown! And Josh Palmer makes him pay. I would describe my game as I'm explosive off the ball. I try to get defenders moving their hips. I use the sideline well, excellent body control. Look at the body control. I mean, he almost does a complete 360. And Palmer got it! My name is Keith Palmer, and my son's going to the NFL. Josh didn't have the luxury of a Pop Warner program to get him going to hone in his skills. It was when he started playing high school football that he realized within himself that this game was actually really, really good to him. And I think it was at that point that he started to take it seriously. I worked so hard to make sure that I could do everything, kind of being a jack of all trades. I could switch army knives, making explosive plays, catching the ball over the shoulder, coming in and out of my breaks so I could play inside, play outside, and things of that nature. Now I played football myself, played in high school and, and went off to the University of Windsor in uh, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. I know the uh, Canadian game and the American game are, are very different, different size field, a much faster game. So Josh grew up of course playing in, in the CFL rules in the Canadian game. I attended St. Rock High School in Brampton, Ontario for my first two years of high school, my freshman and sophomore year. Football in Brampton is not as big as other major cities in America. And once I transferred to St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Lauderdale, that huge powerhouse, it definitely was a huge wake-up call. You know, the competition that was there. I tell everyone my first rep was against Asante Samuel Jr. Being around those type of guys forced me to get better quickly. It was really hard letting him go at 15 years old. He had to learn a lot. He never gave up and he said, Mom, I came here to do a job and that's what I'm going to do. Early today, Tennessee head coach Jeremy Pruitt moved practice to let his players march against racism. Last summer, my teammates and I marched in Knoxville to spread awareness of the social things that was going on in the world. Because Josh left us at such a young age, he wasn't exposed to that kind of stuff here. I think he wanted to be a part of the change, so I'm glad he went out to that. Conversation that Josh and I had as he was growing up was, if you're not gonna stand up for something, you're gonna fall for anything. And, you know, I think that stuck with him. And I remember asking Josh, you're gonna be going to this university. It is in the South, it's a different place, and you have to pay attention to what's gonna be around you because it's gonna be a bit different. And I remember Josh saying to me, I'm just gonna stay away from all that. I'm going to school to play football, to get my education. And um, I just kind of gave him one of these, okay, we'll see. Josh's social activism wasn't something that he went out to find. I think it found him. It's important for athletes to use their social media platforms or just their platform alone to invoke change because we have the opportunity and the resources to be able to show how we feel about certain things. Use sport to create social change. It's just figuring out ways that we can use our platform and what we have going on in our lives to help others, essentially. At the end of the day, People want to be heard, people want to be loved, and people want to be respected. And that's the thing that I want to bring into my next chapter of life, which is just being in the NFL, 